video we're going to look at creating a sheet index. A sheet index basically will allow you to list on your title block all of the sheets within your project. And those sheets can be listed by trade, they can be listed in certain orders within that trade, and so on. Okay, so as this example, as you can see here, we have a sheet index, and but in this one we have each of these individual indexes is broken out by trade, but they're all independent from the other. Meaning that we would have to physically add each of these sheet indexes to our title block. So we want to create a sheet index that will include all of our trades in one complete title block, or in one complete listing. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go over and we're going to create our sheet list. Now, in this case, as you can see here, we have some parameters of discipline, discipline name, sheet order, and so on. Okay, well those are parameters that were added to our project parameters. So in order to do that, we're going to go to manage, we're going to go to project parameters, and we're going to say add. Now you'll notice here, this is where you can add a parameter, but you can also assign it to a category. And you can see here underneath these categories we have one called sheets. Okay, so we can say sheets, and we'll call this one discipline order, and we will go ahead and make this as a type. Actually, I'm sorry, we'll leave it as an instance, so that each sheet can be done separately. It will be um, a number, and we will go ahead and just list it under identity data. All right. So we basically have created a new discipline order, or a new parameter for our sheets. So we'll go ahead and we'll say, okay, so now you can see here underneath our project parameters, we have one called discipline order. All right. So we'll go back to our view tab, we'll click on schedules, and we'll click on sheet index. Now you'll see here, we have one called discipline order. Well, we're going to add this to our sheet, our sheet index. We're going to add this sheet order, one that we've already created. We'll use sheet name, sheet number, which are by default already in there. And then we'll go ahead and select discipline as well. All right. And we can come through here and we can sort these differently if we want. The only ones I'm really worried about are the sheet name and sheet number, because those are the ones that are actually going to show up on our sheet index. So if we simply say OK, you'll see here that what's happening is every single sheet that's listed in our sheet listings here, as you can see, based upon whether it's different trades or whether it's under architectural, all these are listed here as one thing. Well, we need to come through here now and we need to modify the appearance of this. Okay, So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and we're going to go to our sorting. Because we're first going to go ahead and sort it the way we want. All right? so we first want to go ahead and we want to sort them by our discipline order. The reason we want to use discipline order is because you may have your architecturals may come after, let's say, civil. Well, if you sort it simply by discipline, then architectural is going to come before civil because alphabetically A comes before C. But you can give these an order. Remember, we created the order and we made it a numerical number, a numerical uh, type. So now we can say, yes, well, now we'll sort it by discipline. And then we're going to sort it by sheet order. And then we'll sort it by sheet number. And we'll go ahead and say OK. Now, as you can see here, because we haven't added any kind of discipline orders, nothing is listed first. So let's say, for example, we want our title sheets to come first. All right, so we'll put a number one. All right, and then we'll put this as a number one also. And then let's say we have civil, we'll put this one as number two. So as you can start to see here, everything is starting to go through. Now, with this one, we want our title sheet to come before our code sheet. Okay, so we have our sheet order now. So now with our sheet order, we can list this one as a one, and we can list this one as a 1.1. So now we have our title sheet, we have our sheet order, and so on. All right. So you'll see here as you go through and you start to assign information to these, and let's say, for example, architectural is going to be next. So we can simply go through here and we can put a bunch of threes all where our architectural is going to go, and so on. And you can continue on.